other potential teams could well, have even been on the list. The two pieces left in Heroic as well, let's be real, right? Tess and Shush yeah. clean this this part of the major 3-0, but Heroic isn't the Danish roster that, that we've all been accustomed to. Still, two excellent Danish players already moving oh, forward. No, there's a there's that you're right. There's definitely a difference and when you've got five yeah. Danish players on a team. And we still got we got Kerrigan out there too. Kerrigan by himself is actually a, an entire team. Okay, sure. that's fair. Yeah, that's actually, yeah, he counts actually, as five. He's one person that can do that. So, oh, five young players from this nation <laughs> looking for a map to win. Phelps offered a multi kill, Ooh. easy triple on the Berettas. Go back into it. As he just plays on the side of the smoke, he has given exactly what he was hoping for. And maybe more. The bomb has oh, been the picked bomb up. will get planted. And it has run into the bomb site. They go for the safe plant. They forego control of short. Flash comes over as Imperial look to get the retake going. And the T's peak off site. <laughs> it's a little awkward and they're more concerned about Pit than a double up in the bomb site. But that is exactly where Nodios is. They're all coming in from the same ah! angle. Too much to handle. Imperial. Retake A. Nice one. Very nice from Pelps, man. Um, lovely with the dualies. I'm honestly wondering why everyone shouldn't just buy dualies. I, I'm seeing some situations where I'm like, dualies are so loud with so much ammo and so powerful at just getting just a kill right away. Or... Oh. What? Ball back. Oh. They're just so damn strong. I'm like, not even sure you need anything else. They got to be in the right hands, though. They can't be in my hands. Yeah, it's one. It's like a, there's a barrier of entry with Berettas. You know, I've got a teammate that says, oh, here's some Berettas. And I just kick those things back across the spawn. Because mm -hmm. I don't know. How to, I don't know. Nope. Yeah, I mean, a Glocker, USP, or P2K is good enough for me as well. It's like, whoa. <laughs> okay. That's, uh, that's insane. Confidence? Round two up? Um... Round two op is just never a good idea. First of all, we're on Inferno. Second of all, you could give up the op. Third of all, you're getting $100 per kill. And uh, you're not going to retake. There's like 10, 10 full, fully solid reasons why you don't want to op. But Yeah, but the reality is Henny's making up for the op kills he couldn't get back on Anubis. Trying to get right back in there. No way goes down. Second player. Falls to the wall bang. Nicely done from Vinny. That's two wall bang kills in two rounds of play. And Henny, the solo B defender, has confirmed that the bomb's top banana. Gonna underhand that to break smoke. Didn't see him cross over. And Patty's gonna prioritize plant. Now, his teammate is literally on A site. Uh, yeah, Queenix probably should reroute because <laughs> he's not gonna have a lot of time for this. I don't know. Another smoke on CT cross. Uh, it's assuming they're not going to come through, but they are. Patty playing into the M4. Seven bullets in that magazine. Oh my god, oh my god. It what? has given enough time they have for an Queenix. on this round. They've got to be very careful. They do not have a kit. And on top of that, Queenix has been able to get into this flank. Now, again, no kit. Henny is defusing this all the way down. There comes the push. Queenix from around the world, but oh. there is no kit. And they have to run. And that's that. The Queenix around the world to get Ecstatic's Force by win on the board. The op goes down, and they win because he was shooting through a smoke to allow Queenix to walk in. Oh my god, that is maximum regret. Oof. That was the highlight. Enjoy the hundred bucks. Buy yourself something nice. You can see, even after the op shot is taken in TT spawn, they can just run into the site because they know he's not retaken with it. And you can see Queenix shaking his head because he's like, my my God, I was almost just at A site yeah. when that bomb got defused, right? He had to make that happen. <laughs> yeah. Uh, not the way he would have wanted to win it, but here we go. Headstrong into B. Kraken's got the pit control. He's pressured Vinny off of the sandbags, and so easy does it. Everybody dying in this B site in the first 20 seconds of the round. Bomb is in tow. Queenix planting and ecstatic off to the races. Also, just like, how do you even afford it with armor? There was no knife kill or anything. He didn't even get... Well, Phelps had three with the Berettas, right? So yeah. maybe he dropped it over. Yeah. Three it's kills crazy, the pistol. Right, maybe. Like it, to armor himself up. It's like, why do they need it? 
<laughs> like if you get an uh, you get a knife kill or something, you get the you know sure. auto shot, yeah, auto yeah, shot yeah. or um auto sniper or something funny. Yeah, you get a little Chris, a little severance package yeah. or a Christmas bonus. You say, hey, you got three kills on a pistol. Drop me an op. <laughs> That's next level friendship, honestly. Uh, or abuse. <laughs> yeah. You know. Oh man. Terrorists win. Ooh. Kraken wanted a little something, something. He said AK MP9 and 5-7 saved by Imperial. That's like the opposite of Boomich saving in overtime. <laughs> yeah, have we gone to the bottom of that yet? <laughs> Why Boomich doesn't buy rifles in the last round of overtime? Why he's done that twice in the last 10 days? Both against Saw. At a major. Any explanations? Oh, is that a mate? It was both against Saw. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Huh. Oh! <laughs> yes, way. Oh, poor guy. Gets hit by the orbital rail cannon. Astralis nades. The Astralis of our time. Yes, sir. The Astralis we have at home. <laughs> Oh boy. Oh. Slippery. The AK falls back to the site. Third player comes over in Henny. And that solo A member. Cautious about anybody here, but Ecstatic still grouping up inside a banana. Now the stack is in the right place. Can they manage to set it up nicely enough from Oranges for the multi kill to be actualized? They burn the AK out of position. That makes things a little weird, but still he's going to try to lock it in. Minimal cover. Still another player. And the 5-7 of Henny reveals Yo. itself. It packs a punch. A nice double kill. 30 seconds for him to try and get the third and fourth. Oh, smoke fades. Covers there. Fakes it once. <laughs> and he goes for the bomb planter, but the coverage, all he needs. That was a little scary. I guess luckily the bomb plant was canceled. There was a chance to shoot back. But uh, Henny almost made up for everything with that 5-7 round. Lots of damage, though, will still be felt. But good entries overall, not getting scared by Descenti in the back of the site. Money, money, money. is lucky to be alive. He was chilling there for a while. Let's give them a taste of their own medicine, but it looks like they're actually going to keep this really simple and go for a B exact soon. With the three here at the top of Banana Bomb waiting. They're not pushing into halls. Now looking for the re-aggression, but the smoke is not going to do anything. They, they feigned it. There is no double push. Kraken has completely countered this push. And uh, now they know that Imperial are bluffing. One molly here to quad could make everything very sketchy. Let's see if it's a full exact. No, contact it looks like. There we go. Nice clean kill from No Way. First one with nothing. Molotov comes over the top. At least they've got the smoke to still play behind. And Vinny's going to maximize this positioning. Solid hold coming out of the defense. Oh. It is an all-out hold. Ecstatic will find zero footing on the attempt in. And that was all five members trying to force their way into the B site. Completely canceled out. Wow. Excellence. And exactly what Imperial needed. Yeah, that, okay, that, was, that was very impressive. Um, from no way there at the top of quad. Played calmly. Rotator support was in. And of course, this really important smoke that they had to connect quad to emo pillar. And now because of the you know sort of new mechanic, I don't know if it's a mechanic or if it's just a sort of part of the game now that you can stand in between the molly and the and the smoke. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's becoming You've a part of it. how you play because now yep. you can you don't have to be standing inside of a smoke and you can be safe at the same time.
They use that to re-aggro on the right side of quad. Whether it's a feature or a flaw, the jury's still out. But utilizing it is important. Play the game we got. Spam from top, banana. Ooh, nicely done from Kragen. You want to shoot that smoke, Vinny? It's going to come at a cost. Patty with the utility. Mm. Did that miss? It's, nope. it's, it's, it's a round with not a lot to work with. And uh, well, we still got presence in porch, but solo, blind flash, or flash, excuse me, works. Great trade. Vicentis just sat back in pits. Three players, four players coming at him. And his arch player had to just come through the moto smoke. Nicely done to pull one off. Sight player looking to help out somehow, some way. And it's Phelps on the edge of the smoke to fall. Moto push comes through. Mac 10, not Ooh. a nine. Oh, Imperial tying up. Yeah, OK. Solid hold for sure. I was thinking that got scary for Henny. Underneath the porch, but he got his one. Enough players there with great trades. That's Ecstatic's economy gone. Imperial with an open road. In a series where that comeback is much needed. The nature of the first map, if you guys are just joining us, never even close. Wanting to let them get any closer. Deep vision on Banana. Third man leans towards A. It's a very standard lead off here for the CTs and the A side. They've got vision in all the right spots. Deep Banana control is pretty safe and a late Molotov. We get in the face of the plans of Ecstatic who are definitely about to come in this direction. No way he's got to find position. Teammate rotates in behind him. No molly more to stop. It's not like great guns are coming their way, though. Uh, just trying to chase it all down. Should have been oh, a shooting my. gallery for no way. He'll take a deagle shot to the forehead. Yeah, like, nice shot. And that'll be Patty onto the better pistol now. Last member in Queenix, a little late to the party. It was when we watched the, you know, Apex play earlier. This was the kind of patience that... It, I kind of feel like they needed that they just weren't willing to have just on rounds like this to wait utility out every once in a while. Even if you don't get much out of it, even a kill like that will pay off if you really believe you're the team that's going to win in the end. But uh, Imperial make no mistakes and they don't play overly passive either. So with a small lead here on CT side. Looks like the sun might be rising. It's a caliber of Counter-Strike out of Imperial that's at least going to keep this second map close. You know, fair questions, I think, still around whether or not they can compete on Inferno. Yeah, we only have... It's technically their highest win rate map, but it's they've played it twice, and they've only played it versus uh, South American teams. One's like a mix, and one was uh, Bestia. So it's like... They didn't. Uh, they didn't play it versus anyone tough at the RMR. And again, we don't have. We didn't have any because of their run at the RMR. We just didn't, in general, see them even versus Complexity Liquid. Yep, correct. So these are the games where we see what exactly. they're really made of. Yeah, what they're really made of. No. Just to note too, you know, Kragen is coming off of his career highest land performance on Anubis. 
total domination on his behalf into a 3-7 start on Inferno. They did have that pain 2-0, though, where now, retrospect, obviously, it looks even more impressive. Can say that. Banana goes for much less than it has in the past, right? Imperial yeah. have been doing a few mind games and at times even just applying pressure, but this round is just a straight up passive hold from Imperial inside B. Yeah, like that nade combo to take back top and end is inherently flawed now. So we've seen Ecstatic already disrespect that information. Double porch boost, Molly underneath them. It's a double porch boost with a third player on the lane. This could be a bloodbath in one of these directions, but I mean, uncharacteristic to have two players boosted up. It does really just give Decenti the ability to play counter flash. But they're gonna disassemble it while the players in apartments 100% hear that fallback. Yeah, it's true. And you never have enough material to play in all different spots, but oh. they spread out. They think it's gonna be a B play. The CTs are running away actually at this moment. It could be down to Queenix. What a pit. Oh, pit player's a little late on that kill, but he makes up for it. He's got two now, smoke at his feet, looking for the third! Ooh. A one-man hold inside of the pit, just as that site disassembled. Wow. Decenti is given the slack, and he definitely makes up for it. Yeah, well played. Decenti had full pressure on him. As your pit player, not seeing a bomb, you're going to be the last one to move over to the other site. There are always exceptions to that rule. Sometimes a bomb only shows up extremely late and you think, okay, for sure they're coming in. This could have been one of those exceptions past the 30 second mark, but Decenti was just patient enough and uh, also accurate and enough to do that all in one mag and use his utility well as well. So great anchoring here from Decenti. Even risking getting the bomb down would have been annoying for Imperial after Henny got his kill over on B. Leaves me wanting a little bit more, though, because I kind of wanted to see what would happen if that top porch fight actually unfolded. Two players boosted up on top of it. You know, the disassembling of that short push started to make it feel like A was going to come for free, but that's also the pullback that puts a player in pit committed to hold back the balcony hit. If T's slip out a little sooner, man, they could have had their hands full. but they weren't quite ready to follow through. And it was really that lack of banana presence that, that drew the A players away, because the moment one player from Ecstatic is on banana throwing utility, we see it nearly just vacuum the entire setup over. Yeah, they're not actually willing to play for banana outside of these anti-eco rounds. It might be because of p previous experience. Um, Of course, it's good to have a good combination of uh, passive setups as well as aggressive ones on Banana. It's not all about dumping tons of utility and fighting for control of that part of the map. But you certainly don't want to be one way or the other. Vinny used to meditate. I think he's sleeping now, though. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's taking it to a whole new level lately. When you get older, it's just, you know, meditation, sleeping. It's hard to tell the difference. You know, we we talked about kind of this evolution of Henny as an in-game leader and how that kind of took us all off guard, but there's no denying. He has real experience standing behind him in Zach. What do you make of Zach, and what do you think that maybe he's been able to kind of, you know, throw out for this team and, and the formation of what is two young players added to the experience of the others. I mean, I know Zach is well regarded and I know he holds himself, um, he holds himself very highly in the uh, Brazilian scene as a coach. He doesn't think anyone's better than him, which is a really good thing to hear, you know, from your coach. It's coaching all the way back to the Immortals days in 2017. Of course, that was when the most success came, but absolutely not a surprise to see him sticking around. And uh, we don't, have that many interviews from him these days i mean when i worked at yahoo i remember we had him come to the office and did like an hour-long interview but that was literally in 2017 um so it's always sort of hard to say exactly what's true or not about coaches and but we can say he has definitely had a high peak of success 
in the Brazilian scene. And, uh, you know, outside of where Geary's at on Furia, there was never another SK Luminosity type of team for him to stand behind. Um, besides that Immortals lineup, right? Of course, yeah. The Immortals that went to Rio, he was there with them, but obviously working with Fallen at the time. And it feels like when Fallen's in the room, he's just going to suck up all the praise and the recognition. But there's no doubt that Zach has worked with some of the best. There's no doubt that he would have left an impact on this Imperial team as they continue to claw rounds away from Ecstatic back in versus Pistols this time. Much better Imperial here on Inferno than what we ended up getting out of Anubis. No way in Vinny. Mm. Damn, that's nearly a 100 damage nade. Patty at the helm of this. Tech 9 spam trying to just get through that smoke. Difficult challenge with the pressure of the AKs and the utility right in front of them. And it is a mow down. Meat <laughs> grinder. Top it's, banana. Imperial up 6-3. It's always like an eco rush into Nodios getting one deagle kill. <laughs> they all die. Worth it, though. Worth it, for sure. Fair few ecos coming out of the seaside right now. So, I mean, it, it feels like Imperial are in a very good rhythm. Into another buy-up opportunity here for Ecstatic. I think they have a lot of options. They do a good job of showing variety early so they don't get funneled by their own merits into one or two types of exacts. They haven't been too stubborn or adamant about making something work. They have a lot of versatility. They show a lot of comfort when it comes to different tempos and things like that too, which I think has made them very hard to play against. Some good, good early utility here from Imperial. Uh-oh. Stuck in. Oh, or are they stuck in with him? I thought it, No Way was doomed. That looked like a great pre-fire, to be honest. Just, like, trying to get to the bottom of Banana, knowing he was stuck. Ooh. Oh, my God. <laughs> Hot damn. Sick 2K coming off Banana Henny. Oh, doesn't get away. Nodios through the smoke. You will expect the fast peaks. rotation. He'll be able to clear this side of the attack. So Salazar in from short. Queenix a little bit later in apartments. And slowly but surely, that bottom mid flank of No Way will get into position. We've seen great things from Decenti in pit. They are on high alert and trying to deal with him while Vinny looks to give cover. Oh, bad smoke. Huge gap for Vinny to try and exploit this. But it also puts him on a pedestal. Decenti out of pit and dead. And it's been a quiet map from Salazar. A quiet approach from 20, No Way. 25 seconds to go around the other side of default for the swing. He's ready for the peak. He swings yeah, and he nails is. it. Salazar with 56 health doesn't take a shot back. Ice cold clutch and a much needed one from Ecstatic. Man, that would be might be the difference between, you know, only having three rounds and maybe getting six at this point. So that's a, a big clutch to be able to to win. And it starts with Nodios actually with the 180 spray down into the transpose with Queenix flashing him through the arch smoke and these trades going down. But ultimately it's a one on two. And this, this angle on the side of default is so powerful, obviously. As a CT approaching, you know the fight's coming, but it's still hard to stop. Much needed headshots there from Salazar. Kind of lost that individual level of ecstatic that they brought forth on Anubis. I would definitely be a touch concerned at this point if I was Imperial losing the losing that round. Even though it's close, just because of the moment, momentum that it offered. 3v5. They've got a grasp. Yeah, 3v5. They mm -hmm. got a grasp tightly onto this economy. Mm -hmm. Senti still has some pocket change left over, but the rest of his teammates, they're hoping not to see another loss. Somebody with only oh my god, wow, their nades have been so good, yes, sir. Looking like a team that plays Inferno, more util pressure to try and vie for control of Banana Kragans. 
Just making sure that nobody's able to slip love, behind sandbags. I love that he's not worried about it because it's, it's almost always been a bluff yep. from Imperial when it comes to whoa, putting whoa. pressure. Oh my god, that did almost nothing. Well, they know it's a double hall setup for sure now. Queen Watch just... them take advantage of Arch. Covered in drywall. So those wall bangs are almost, almost on the mark. But this contest into, into mid, you know, CT's going to be concerned about it. They were trying to play for short. Phelps is going to lay down a bunch of utility here, empties out his belt, and slides into the corner. That's very good defense here from Imperial. He said, okay, we're taking that option away now. But simultaneously, we get this rock the boat back towards the B site, where Banana, of course, has been held by Kragan this entire time. He ensured that nobody crossed into the corner. Vinny trying to puff his chest as if there's a real threat in this bomb site. We've seen good things individually from both him and No Way. They held this on their own last time around and they're gonna need to do it again. No rotations nearby. And Vinny making sure that it doesn't fall for free. Maintaining control of back church, foregoing the bomb plant at least. And with the low health because of those nades, this is not a safe post plant for the T's. Vinny continuing that damage. And as Phelps gets ready for the smoke push, he's going through, down into the pit, dropped back by Patty. It starts to become this anchored position, so ecstatic feel as though they gotta do something extra. Nodios climbs to the top of those boxes, and the CT flash doesn't enable the retake. Vinny's gonna try to hard charge forward. Down they both go. It's all Decenti, and he knows that he's back on new box, but time is on the side of ecstatic, and he mm. will not be able to clear them out. Excellent hold, and a great rock away from those brackets controls, straight back into B. There was a lot of ideas going, a lot of different adjustments that had to be made in that position from both squads, and they were keeping up with each other up until ecstatic finally abused the fact that they not only had control of brackets, but they had top banana at the exact same time. Again, making light of the fact that Imperial have only been bluffing when it comes to taking car control. So Ecstatic keeping options open and being ready to use either one is ultimately what benefited them the most. Imperial too slow to the retake, not enough kills. That extra money that Decenti had, five and a half thousand dollars after buying last round, spreads across the board for the squad. Ump, MP9, and a Fomus. Henny back on the big green. Double apps push. Queenix, they are right here and holding him. And they've already opened up. Oh. Perfect crosshair placement. Then the boiler player has to hold. Woo. Phelps, it's a wonderful double kill, but it's a foregoing of the A site. And that bomb actually stutter steps towards Arch. They stop, they smoke, and then they continue on. As Queenix, he is the king of the apartments. Dropping both and taping man advantage. Patty plants. No way charges out. And it is not a comfortable retake. There is no kit included. And they are just met by smoke grenade after smoke grenade. But at least there's a small gap along the wall to route into the bomb site. He jumps through that gap and onto the box, which costs him. Desperate times here for Henny to close out the half. Ecstatic at the very tail end of this T side. Rebound. The door left ajar. And Ecstatic kick it off its hinges to get themselves this tied half. Oh. Henny does not have any chance to retake. This one's done. And Ecstatic should be proud of their rebound. Yeah, that's uh, extremely well earned right there. And it's from when it was 6-3, where Salazar won his 1v1. They did not look back. Two rounds right after that, making him proud. And uh, overall, they got to be proud of themselves as a unit. That was another very impressive half. Taking the wind out of the sails here of Imperial. Moving on to CT side, where they will be even more comfortable. But because of the little data available for Imperial, and clearly they are ready to play Inferno, we'll have to see how good that they're going to get. We just have not seen anything on record of Imperial beating a team, you know, quality European team on this map right now. Not that many of them are even playing it. But if Ecstatic win this map, it will move on to the elimination stage. from the least likely Danish team to get this far to top 16 at the major. On home soil. It's a dream come true. With a proud country, hungry, to have a fully Danish stack to cheer for. Ooh, he sees the barrel. Sorry, Salazar, you're done. Oh, can't get that shot. Oh, yeah. 
Salazar has three kills. One of them was that 1v2 one one clutch. Yep. Unlucky or godlike. Quality, not quantity. Ooh, big moment coming to Kragan. Is there any flashes here for him? No. This is such a, this is such a precarious spot. Oh, oh my man. god, yeah, right. Huge nade damage, yeah, but that's uh, from beyond the grave. Patty had died before that landed, and this pistol, honestly, a bit embarrassing. <laughs> I can't right? just a bit embarrassing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because you get caught off on your angle that you chose. Salazar's just sitting in the window like yeah. a pie. <laughs> like a pie. Yeah, airing out. And then that uh, top car position is just, it's got to be one of the worst positions ever, I want to say invented, because it was found, but ever discovered in CS. And uh, yeah, maybe it works sometimes, but as soon as you see somebody, you get spammed down anyway, and you can't leave. So it's nice when you have man up, when you are high numbers, or in other situations like that. Ooh. But in most others, what you just saw happen is what usually does. That's not a pistol that Ecstatic are going to want to think about anytime soon. Oh, one kill in the middle of any of that. Crag and pop out from behind the wall. <laughs> Five players staring at you. Yeah, not uh, not a position we can expect too much from. It's basically impossible to process. Yeah, <laughs> the amount of players on your screen. Kind of black out for half a second, and yeah. then you're dead. Now they'll still come forward with the force buy. Thing is, with no kills, it's kind of ugly. Good amount of utility, though, for Ecstatic. And you know, Inferno, one of the maps where we can use these lesser weapons up close. We talk about how narrow it is in CS2 compared to the previous version. Well, that definitely plays into the SMGs, shotguns, and pistols. Right now, it's also an understaffed A site. 5-7 on balcony, 5-7 in the site. Molly does cut this Mac 10 player off, and if Phelps runs forward, yeah, that's gonna happen. Oh. A gift given over. With a late smoke on lane. Mm -hmm. And they were tempted to go that way. And a chance to scramble rotations. Was that a leadoff with a good gun? It was a Mac 10. Oh, okay, okay. And it's him. still somewhere here in the smoke. That's the problem with Inferno. You can search, but if you do find out it's a stack. Oh, he grabbed it. Now they've got two SMGs here, plus that third player comes over with a nade oh, that does a ton of damage. This might not be the right site to go to. Oh, Ecstatic, they could be making up for that lost pistol round where they had no chance. Mac 10 up on box, and sure enough, a reposition. Salazar, full three <laughs> kills. Queenix with two. It's a full house for the Danes on A. Yikes, that denies the pistol. That denies the pistol completely. What a setup here. Good use of the Mac 10 as well from inside cold. And it's this initial leadoff. Phelps walks up. But what's the point of scouting a stack if you're going to continue into the stack again with the rest of your players? If this was a 4-1 or one and they're ready to hit B when Phelps, you know, finds a 5-7 in the site, then that makes sense. The toughest part is Phelps doesn't get one kill, and he also doesn't have confirmation on more than one player. Salazar opening off shot lands. Doesn't kill him, but Phelps to half health. Yo, the boost. Okay. Kraken getting bullied now. So force an early smoke and a rotation. Has a player ever had their highest rated land map and then had their lowest rated land map right after? Because Kraken's on that lane. Game's not over, baby. He is living on both ends of the spectrum. Just like me. Nodios around Coffin's side. Ooh, Deagle shot through Coffin's wall. Good on Patty to hold off the Phelps push towards CT cross. Descenti's leaning forward for that MP9. Will they chance this retake? You got a lot to lose here, but Queenix has all the tools for the job. They're just CTs so far are not gone. Either. Their CTs are guarding A right now. They can see right? it. They are. If a bomb comes A all of a sudden, they're ready. <laughs> <laughs> they, they defuse the bomb themselves and run it over. <laughs> You're not getting in. Now that's meta. Plant the bomb on one site, pick it up, and run it to the other site before it blows up. CS3. CS3. We can add that in. Droppable grenades into pick upable mm -hmm. bombs. Okay. Yeah, don't have time for a defuse. Just pick it up and throw it. Mm. 
Oh yeah. Well, I mean, it is source, unfortunately. <laughs> Worst game ever made, but you know that's cool though. It's like a nice throwback. Great surf mode. We'll give it that. Yeah, better than CS2s. Yeah. What a rich history we are lucky to have when it comes to Counter Strike. Indeed. Decades of competition. And yet here we are welcoming ecstatic all five players to their very first major. Mm -hmm. The same major where guys like Roman and Muterus are also debuting Crazy. at a major despite having competed for a decade. And nobody got history like CS. Looking to make history. Well, I, I eat my words. They get the pistol round, they lose the second, and Ecstatic actually can't put two in a row together. So that's the first time I think we've seen Ecstatic mess up a round like that, where they have the economic advantage. They're in the driver's seat. This is a good sign for Imperial, of course. But the buy still does come back in. They hear the op in the following round. Ooh, they're going to try to challenge that? Uh, no, they no. heard the molly in front of it. Right. They're probably surprised by the amount of utility coming into this round, but they know it can't last forever. And I love that. Actually, the investment into the op to be able to play 4-1 is insanely big. Did Salzar have full view of that bomb? I'm not sure. Because it just crossed banana. Salazar smokes it. 4A again. They don't have to move. Shift one extra into the site, and that's it. Time is not on. Imperial nice side. Oh, nice peaks. Ooh. Nodios drops the bomb, but they also lose control of Balcony. 35 seconds. That second CT has got to scramble over in Kragan. He is foregoing vision and control of the bomb. He's got to take his time and peak. That's it. It's all about the timing. Henny grabs the bomb. Great coverage from Phelps from behind him. The bomb's still stalling out top mid. It only has one option. It's got to go back. Henny leaves and so will salazar oh, too much to lose he's got that op in hand that was uh okay very nice from the players coming out of halls they saved everything obviously kills go down properly for ecstatic in that setup they also have a 4-1 so it wouldn't have been a complete surprise if they won that round they played for a good amount of information and were rewarded uh, imperial can hunt this i guess but if salazar just goes quad i don't know if this is worth Worth the approach, or uh, even even stronger angle right here. Money still matters here for both both teams. Terrorists win. Close call, but they get past it. Yeah, we've had this weird back and forth at the start. Leading us into the depths of these rounds. Very nicely timed brackets fight from both the short and arched side, but it's just that quick response at a balcony, sweeping away the numbers of Ecstatic and pushing them into this desperate place where it's all really going to bank on the op. Or maybe Nodios gets lucky with his Zeus. Yeah, yeah. Or at the uh, Deagle. I'm sure he has one oh, of those. Oh, huh? Kraken's got a Zeus as well. Okay. A couple Zeus. More importantly than anything else, this AWP. The op is reserved. No opening down mid. I don't think he wants to get avoided in this round. But uh, if you don't go aggressive with the op, you don't get to influence the decision making of the opponent. You you know you can. Delay for time by not showing yourself. But it does leave the opportunity for a stack. However, again, quietly, it actually comes over to the side of the map. Tough, though. This angle's already held by the T's. Oh, oh, it's too wide. Oh, that's awkward. Felt like no way had that in the bag. But you can't be holding wider than your opponent who's peeking if you're trying to protect somebody. But the op's gone. It just falls back into the pistols. 40 seconds. Trying to rotate ahead of anything. Oh my God. Zeus on this spot seems Four crazy. Four kills for Kragen, but he's got the Zeus in hand waiting yeah. for his chance. I mean, that position is not going to work. Even oranges, it's not going <laughs> to work. There's, You can only put this on a limited. See Jim Carrey, because he's listening to you right now. What's happening, buddy? You got to swap back to the P2K. That op is going to scramble over. Wait, wait, but they think they mollied second oranges. He's fine. They're not going to clear him, right? 
No way, guards up, oh, sees a Jesus. sliver. Okay. There it is, but now we've got two players flanking Banana, Henny's locked this one in. Yeah, it gets a little weird. He starts to realize he doesn't have the tool for the job, and Salazar lost his vision with the CT smoke. So Imperial were just pushed into a pressure cooker, and yet come out all right. That's how you do it. <laughs> Nodios, good Zeus. Oh, hold up. Bomb is at the halfway point. There's no kit, and it's there's old. no chance they'll walk away. Yeah, but they can still keep them in this bomb explosion radius, right? In a few seconds, that Zeus is going to come back online and give away his position. CT's the ones who costly. have them trapped right now. Yes. Very oh, costly. Man, that's, the op might come his way. That's insanely expensive. Oh, Salazar has one. Yeah, he's he's good, and uh, at least for Imperial, once again, they win the round. But it's sort of a Pyrrhic victory in the sense that economy matters. Last round was not great. This round's even worse. And the op is still in play with a full buy coming in their direction. We're actually building up to this moment now. We're ecstatic. We'll be at a three-round deficit, but in the perfect opportunity if they can win. And watching Kragen come to the constant realization that, oh shit, this isn't gonna work. Oh, <laughs> it, oh, this isn't gonna work. Yeah. And now all of a sudden you're behind second oranges with your P2K out, like, oh. Uh. Now if he had hidden new box. Regardless, good cost-effective round for Ecstatic. But money's not everything. Rounds hard to come by. Imperial leading by three and three away from victory on map two. And there was no denying there was a chance in that last round. Salazar in with the first off kill. This time flashed right before he gets vision. Mac 10s gonna charge him down. Balcony players answer. Huge hold coming through from Arch, Sight, and Pit. Vinny can't trade immediately, and the Flash is going to keep him pinned against the wall. Nodios has been hot, and he will continue to tear them up. Henny oh. dead and ecstatic with an excellent hold. Oh, man, he's bad calm with it. Perfect risk, risk assessment here from Nodios, and as you pointed out, with the other eight players there on the periphery, ready to defend against Salazar, who had to fall back blind with this 2K spray, and again, Lane has been hard to get up against. The opposite side of default swings have been huge. Nodios is climbing. And uh, just pointed out, uh, they sh they might be pretty broke, actually. Again, five dead that last round. Yeah, 2,800, 3K on Phelps, making him the richest player on the team. Ecstatic will be extremely clear about this now. This should virtually be a tied game. We'll see what uh, Imperial can do. But Imperial have Imperial have managed to pick up an eco in this half as well, like a force buy, I should say. Well, this is the only part, you know. We go back to Anubis, there was no sloppy rounds at all. There was there was no wild antics. We were just literally saying how clear I <coughs> clear ideas were clear. every <laughs> my glasses. <laughs> my leg. Clear ideas Wah. were all that ecstatic had and clean execution with it. We've had a couple zany moments here as the pressure starts to mount because the reality of the situation sinks in. Top 16 at the first CS2 major. Salazar looking to recover his game as well. Mm -hmm. First half had like three kills in two rounds over all of it. All of them nuts, but yeah, only three. Obviously instrumental to the ecstatic success with the op in hand. Big responsibility. And he's been present here on this A site, whether it's arch or short. He is a bit vanilla with the way that he picks. Mm -hmm. You know, same thing every round. Uh oh. But he's got the mission. And this one, again, just versus pistols. So chance to really flex. It'll cost them one. But again, the balcony hold from Queenix has been solid. Dangerous for him to go re-peeking on low HP, but he'll <laughs> seal the deal with the USP. 
And so the Danes keep rolling. Yeah, a couple of kills is nice for Imperial, but uh, this was their nightmare scenario. Getting close to winning those last two, or winning the last two rounds, but with less players alive and then having to save. Now the buy up on the next is witness to four Galils. Enough utility, and Galils are incredibly strong. So this is um, a concession, but it's it could be relatively minor. There's still no reason why Imperial shouldn't be fully confident they could pull this out. This, however, is where an AWP can actually have good presence. Ooh, Bananas under pressure. Oh man, it is big time. They don't seem completely ready for how close they are either. Patty's making sound, but nope, not ready at all. Yikes. And the flash was excellent. How it are they not dead? Doesn't get the second. Vinny's got fired, decides to hold off. But again, this close player may catch them off. Nodios, he has been the star as he maintained momentum from the first to the second map, but this one is ecstatic, falling victim to just how close Imperial were allowed to get. Okay, now eco aside, that's that's probably going to be the worst, worst round of the series. This is no, uh, no, don't recognizing how close they could have been to the half wall. This is very messy attempt to hold on to this, tripling down on the peaks to Banana to try to heroically stop this rush between three players. And in a situation where, again, it's so important that you win the round, just like it was or supposed to be for Imperial on the last. So a brave call to make with the Banana Rush and the amount of nades that they could have eaten on the way up. But uh, with Imperial surviving in that situation, multiple layers of hell right there to get into the site they now get to reap the benefits, getting to 11. Terrorists win. Now Ecstatic still have the money to buy. They did a good job of saving. On top of having two clean rounds. Oof. Wow, no way he's got his number. Yes, sir. Unfortunately for Kragen, not anywhere close to the level of play we got out of him on Anubis. I mean, his team's bought him some time here, right? This game is not over and it's still close. Yep. Now, what we saw in the pistol round on Anubis was Kragen going from missing 20 bullets in a row to top ranking and having the best land map mm -hmm. of his entire life. Yeah. Zero to hero in no time. Now, the only further challenge is to see if he could do it twice. Kind of like what Nodios has been able to do because he was in the shadow of Kragen last map but still posted a 1.55 rating and an 18-9 score line. Definitely did his job and has continued that here. He is one of the biggest reasons Ecstatic are still in their map pick. Will it buy enough time for the struggling members of Ecstatic to get back online? As Kragen's not alone at the bottom of that board. Yet here he is in another position with pressure soon to be on him. Support from Patty in the bomb site, who has his flash in hand, ready to throw that flash when needed. Now they're going to hear that burning, so Kragen knows that there was about to be a handful of T's coming around this wall. And they'll decide to continue to pressure with Util. Nade, not deep enough. Hold it way back for this. It's going B, though. The thing is, it's going B, and, and at 30 seconds, the CTs are about to disassemble, push down mid, or rotate out, because they have seen nothing. The only thing they have to be worried about right now is halls and B. thing is, they just used their only molly and their only smoke, and it's going to fade with still enough time oh, for Imperial to come through it. CTs aren't moving either. They're really late to adjust to this. It's going to come down to these two guys. Oh, man. Top orange is held onto by Kragen. He's trying his absolute damnedest to tap back into the talent. Beautiful flash. Nodios comes in with a helping hand. Five seconds. Ball plant looking desperate, but there's still, I think, enough time. No. No. Henny comes in late, and they hold it off. Time on the side of Ecstatic. Oh my god, with two players left on the T side in the site after time goes down, they're worried, holding onto their angles, but they survive. And because it's three seconds on the plant, it is too late as they had to run through a smoke. It works out for Ecstatic, but it is a wake-up call at the same time. That's Kragen who has to make that heroic 2K happen. And if not, they will get that bomb down and they'll probably win. And zero utility for the two defenders, but the Nodios rotation, which was late. Those A players stalling out as long as they Those did. Those A players missed a massive timing where they were either supposed to collect info inside of middle or have one fall down pit and start the lead off towards the B site, but they were not playing with information. 
They were playing as two separate brains on one side of the map and the other, and hoping that they would come through with a hold. Not, not wanting to get tricked, but it came down to this. 2K again from Kragen. But they will not win this map if uh, they try to do that again. And, and for Imperial, well, they have to be faster because they could have bought, been beaten in two different ways. I also they lost a less likely one, but that's a bad sign as well. I think Kraken gets a little lucky too that the first player in for Imperial doesn't have a trade right behind him and is more fixated on the CT cross. That's not the cleanest instant kill from Kraken. He held it nonetheless. And this time he's going to play a little more dangerous. Good grenade and good amount of pressure here, right? Imperial haven't felt the heat of deep banana control for basically all of their T side. Yeah, no, with that grenade. With that grenade to deep stairs, another you're, one. You're going to be very suspicious about people playing logs and uh, in Bell as Bad well. That smoke. Imperial have a smoke that ends up landing outside of the map. You see the contrail just fall behind Kragen. Ooh. That was probably meant to seal Patty off from what could have been suspected Here. to be this close position. Kragen's going to lose 30 HP to the frag grenade, but luckily for him, still has the support of a teammate. He changes sides, and he remains a threat. Kraken is going no smoke in this position, so yeah, I, I don't think it makes sense to continue to play here. They still have the B control, but now Imperial are thinking, okay, we don't net that kill. But this this is the moment where, okay, you've seen Imperial get shoved into a spot and then just brute force it. Where are the rotations, ecstatic? You are looking all the way down banana. Patty starts to get active, and Henny's holding him, trying to keep it honest. <gasps> he just oh, turned oh perfection my God. He, in the timing. He went to throw a grenade, right? Salazar able to hold off with the off. This is a 3v5 demanded of Imperial, or else they lose their lead, and they're starting to take it back. Decenti's in with two. Phelps has found his on library pressure on the opera, and what do you know? They get through in a 3v5. That is unbelievable. Down to plant the bomb. There's still a chance here for Patty. Trying to somehow get it going. He found that perfect timing on Henny, but that pop-up, Senti is the jack in the box. And as he comes up, he takes a ton of damage. The clutch is real. And Phelps, years of experience, keeps that head down, hiding on the oh. stairs. He delivers. Woo. That's a great reposition. He could have definitely got sussed out in graveyard. Moving down the stairs when the reload took place is the only place he could go to keep it fresh. That's nice. I can't believe that they pulled out the trades after Patty came down the back of Banana. Salazar also got the first kill on the site, but look at the senti from above inside of the clouds, throwing lightning bolts like Zeus into the site, taking one kill and then the other. No trades back. A very unlikely round to win here for Imperial, but they don't care how they did it. They will take that every day of the week. This gives him a breath of fresh air, a chance to breathe. OT secured here on Inferno. The smallest sigh of relief. After a massive rebound from map one and in with the 5v4 this time, Kragen in for a world of hurt as the utility follows him up banana, an entire pack of Imperial men ready to follow through with momentum. And this T side has answered the call that was needed. An embarrassing map one defeat. And yet a fall off from the star in Kragen that Imperial will not waste. But they will also not rush. And I think that's the perfect way to play this. Low utility on what's left of this behold and what has been a pretty routine separation between the two bomb sites, but the CTs yeah. may be starting to rotate a little bit earlier. Can they get here in time? That's Queenix good. is working with a lot of utility, flashbangs that could set up this orange hold from Kragen. He used this position last time and got one. Still, they will have to wait. They messed up, used their molly on the smoke. Coming through now is a tease. They're ready to hit it. Kragen holds on the top shelf. Phelps waiting in the smoke, another volley of utility through. They're hunting the player on site. But that's Kragen found out in the smoke by the off of all things. And the skinny pillar players pulled off. Queenix, a chance, a desperate attempt. As 10 seconds hits the clock, that bomb desperately jumps over. And Salazar comes through. Five seconds. It gets planted. Hold oh, on. <gasps> Henny barely covered. And the retake is on. That damage is real. There's two players. What? Oh, they line up. The SMG keeps the hopes of Ecstatic alive. The AK tears Queenix off. 
and Salazar, who rotated in to no vision, has to imagine himself keeping this game alive. But it's a fast flank all the way around on the tap. And as he gets that confirmation that the defuse hasn't been stuck, Salazar has to go forward. He takes the kill. And as he gets back on bomb, guess what? Guess what? Ecstatic, it comes down to the wire. A 10 second defuse, he holds his breath. Oh! And Imperial push map three. Oh my god. It comes down to less than one second on the bomb. And Imperial win it 13 to 10. Wow, what a heart stopper. Unbelievable finish. I cannot believe that.